second, yep. one second. Ah, damn Hi, it. everyone. Welcome to Merch Money. Um, we are having a little bit of technical difficulties. Eric is uh, still trying to log on and having trouble, but we figured we'd start anyway, just because it takes a while to go through and introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and say what we're proud of this week. So um, do you guys want to go ahead and start? And then I'll just be uh, talking to Eric here on my phone. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, go. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm Amy Nicholas, Marketing Mayhem Girl, who has uh, been heavily marketing on AMS lately and uh, having a blast as my sales continue to climb. Thank you for Q4. Um, what else? What else? So win for the week. Um, building a Shopify store from scratch to put up all of my uh, research bundles that I offer for merch and Pinterest and journals. Um, also for guides and videos that I've had for sale uh, for a bit. Moving things from my Gumroad and uh, being really proud of myself for not having to hire a web designer to help me build this store. Um, it actually was... Uh, because this is like my third Shopify store. It's actually a little bit easier um, than I remember. So <laughs> very excited about that. That was my win. And uh, yeah, just excited for Q4 and, and what's coming up next. But if anybody wants to check out the site, it's merchmoneymaster.com. So cool. <laughs> Who's next, me? You in your <laughs> beautiful <laughs> hotel room. Thank you so much for making it today. Like. Yeah, do you see me flicking lights off and on in here? I'm like, oh, look at this lighting. I'm staring at myself right now, and I'm like, oh, my God. I don't know what works in here. but And I have it cranked to 78 degrees. It's like I am like, oh, my God. If I ever visit you, I'm like, I don't know how. I'm going to have to prepare in advance. <laughs> totally. Michelle Michelle and I were talking about going to a few conferences, and she's like, I'm not rooming with you, honey. I know. Like, I'm no. like, I don't think I could do it. I got <laughs> I got a room by myself or with somebody else. Like, it's yeah. too hot. Yeah, it's crazy. It See, we, really we get it right along, Brie. I, I love 78. That's my favorite temperature. I, li literally, it'll be like zero out at home, and we're like, crank it up. <laughs> it's 78. I'm in shorts. It's a blizzard outside. So, yeah, I got to keep it warm. So, anyway, I'm Brianna Muller Green. I am a co owner of Design for Dollars. And, um, yeah, I just have a crazy life right now. So, like, this past oh, week was just... Oh, Eric just Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, sorry, Eric. Sorry about that. Sorry Thank about that. Thank you. That's okay. Hello. How are you? Made it. Eric. Yeah. I Welcome. Was, technology is always a fun thing. That's okay. Yeah. It's not It's not just you. Like, uh, we've all had trouble with these links sometimes. Oh, it was but, giving me problems earlier, too. So, it's yeah. all good. Well, Brianna was just in the middle of uh, explaining she's in a hotel getting ready to go to um, Seattle tomorrow. Oh, go, yes. go ahead, Bri. Yeah, so, yeah, the basic stuff, you know, things are moving along like crazy at Design for Dollars. And um, as of right now, like Helen said, I'm in a hotel just outside of where I live. Um, literally, the airport is right here across the street. And I'm taking off for Seattle in the morning. Um, this is the big... Amazon headquarters trip um, where I know a little bit um, about what I'm going there for, but not like a whole lot yet. And I am under a non-disclosure agreement for some of it. But of course, I'm like, during which events am I not under an NDA? And they told me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. A good thing for asking. Yes. Yeah. So like. We'll see. Well, uh, um, I don't have specific names. I do have some ideas of some departments I'm going to see some presentations from. And um, I don't know. It's it, it's going to be exciting. Now I'm going to be the annoying person the whole time. Can I talk about this? Is this under an NDA? What how about this? Can I talk about this? I was so. thinking about you because um, they there was like a leak for the Amazon second headquarters. Like everybody's saying it's going to be in Crystal City, which is uh, not too far from me. It's like... I don't know. Should be 20 minutes, but sometimes it's like an hour depending on traffic. <laughs> but yeah. um, anyway, they somebody leaked it and they tweeted this whole tweet about like how they didn't follow the non-disclosure and all this <laughs> stuff. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> well, it, yeah. And like the funny story is that apparently the group of people that they like have brought on nobody asked about that because everybody's from a different like kind of like background, even though we're all 
from like Amazon and we sell on Amazon. So I'm the only one that was like, what about this NDA? Like how far can I push it? Um, so they were like, well, uh, we haven't had that question. So they answered it. <laughs> but I yeah, can. so that's, I'll be there. Um, I'm taking off tomorrow morning and then I'll be back by like Friday. But, um, you know, I'll post when I can. to try to make the most of being there. So. It's so exciting, and thank you to everyone yeah. who sent Brianna um, questions and stuff. If anybody else has any like that they want to ask Amazon, definitely yes. post it in the chat, post it in the group. Yep. I, I, I After I get off of here, I'm going to finish compiling all the questions. I just don't know if I can have a laptop and a computer. You know, I don't know what I can bring, so I want to make sure that I have like my old school notebook with mm -hmm. a bunch of points to talk about. And yeah, so send that to me. I won't have the opportunity to quote meet with anyone until Wednesday, early, early Wednesday. So you still have time to you know email me or message me or whatever. Awesome. So yeah. And guys, I'm a little sick, so if you keep seeing me like take off drops, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm dying. And if, that's okay. if I disappear, I just went down to get my food that I just ordered. <laughs> so if you see me, you know, dip out real quick and be right back. All right, awesome. So did everybody go besides um, Eric, of course, hasn't yet. So are we missing? Amy. Amy, okay, sorry, Amy. I was on the phone and I, I was, all right, so Amy. All right, so hi, Amy Springer, Merch Marvel. I don't have much going on. It's it's been a pretty pretty good week. I've just been filling slots. I've been focusing mostly on Germany and UK and this and that, and uploading my designs to other products like standards that have sold, especially last year. I'm putting those on premium and long sleeve, maybe sweatshirts and hoodies, depending, and just kind of staying busy with that. But um, for the most part, that's it's been very low key this week and just really trying to fill up my slots so I can tear up before Christmas, maybe. I know. I want to too. <laughs> we'll I want see. us all to. Let's all like tear up together. It'd be so great. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm waiting on tear ups too. So this week has been all about uh, well, I guess I should go. My name's Helen Kinson, Merch Boss. Um, my week was all about I don't know, when did I hit 6,000? I had a contest with Joe and sometime last week I hit 6,000, I think it was on Friday. So I have all my slots uh, filled. I had a nice weekend, um, kind of took a weekend off of merch and everything. And then today I was um, going through on Merch Wizard all the top shirts that I have and making sure that I have them um, like just doing variations of them. So I use uh, pine tools, it's just what I've been using. So you can easily like invert it. So if it was white font, it can easily invert to black font or there's little things you can do. Um, you can colorize the font, you can do lots of stuff. So I was making a few variations of all of my top sellers. So as soon as I either tear up or as soon as they start having like takedowns in a couple days, when is that, November 10th, November 6th, something. I think up. it's coming so, up soon. I have I'm some probably up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's coming up. I'm sure I'm going to lose some shirts this week. So I have those ones ready to go um, as soon as those come down. So we'll see. But we're excited to have Eric on today. Eric is an artist. In, um, you live in L.A., right? That's correct. Yeah. Fabulous. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, yeah, my name is Eric Rosser. I guess I'm a merch magician. Uh, for today and uh currently live in los angeles uh and i've been in merch for about a year and uh, i love it hate it uh <laughs> but it's been an interesting experience uh yeah do you want i don't know what type of yeah what, that's perfect that's perfect okay, so we go. um so let's start with just talking a little bit about your background before merch so sure. i know you um you have, are an artist in LA, but you've also done uh, New York stuff too, right? Like a yeah, I was yeah. Um, f I was living in New York for about twenty three years. I was working at uh, MTV, Nickelodeon, TV Land, and uh, uh, Nick at Night, and I was a uh, graphic designer, animator, and director of animation. We did uh, on air promos for those channels and creative content. Uh, could I do 2D, 3D animation, uh, show openings? I don't know if 
don't know if you remember Action League now. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I remember that. I remember right. Nick at Night. <laughs> right. That is so, so cool. I remember I all of it. Night. Yes, we do a lot of that stuff. Uh, I was, uh, we, I came to Nickelodeon when we just hit the high point. Started there in 1990, and it kind of like really took off. So we got to do a lot of opens and shows like Action League Now and Ren and Stimpy. Uh, I love Ren and Stimpy. Oh, that's my time, man. That was like 1990. I was like nine. That was I like know. my oh. God, I don't want to. I don't want to date myself, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then remember, oh, Doug, we did Doug. Yes, yes. Dude, 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 dude. Doug Flutie was the no, thing. Not Doug Flutie, so, Doug, um, and, yes. Uh, Doug Angry Flutie. Beavers, who was that? Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, of course, Rugrats. Rugrats. Yeah. Uh, a lot of this shit. This is- so we, we had like um, uh, computer technology was kind of new back then. So I was lucky enough to be there at the right time. So we did a lot of 3D, 2D animations. So um, I was just very lucky to be there. And uh, then Nick and Knight became very popular. We did uh, that type of stuff. And then TV, because that became very popular, TV Land became popular from that. And uh, so I was in that world. I love 3D. I love 2D. And uh, it was very stressful. So in my free time, I would do uh, illustration, like after work. And I'm like, yeah, draw and like trying to like stress, de stress. And um, for some reason, uh, I, I got to sell that art after seven years of illustrating. I, uh, I was selling in uh, CB2, which is part of uh, Craig and Barrel. And that uh, was doing uh, wall art and pillows and um, kind of like home decor art. Uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, actually, the sad story was that I was actually accepted into merch back in 2015 because I was doing apps for the uh, App Store. But I didn't really know what it was, and then I kind of focused on what I was doing, and then I kind of shifted to Shopify. Uh, I was trying to sell my stuff on that, and like, uh, I kicked myself every day because like, uh, I could have been in there at the early time. And then when I finally saw my account again, it was like kind of like deactivated because I didn't use it for a while. But uh, then once, you know, of course, Mr. Chris Green uh, was talking about it. I was like, oh my God, this is fantastic. And uh, I was like, uh, it was, it's a dream. You know, if you could get it to work, it would just be a dream to, you know, illustrate and, um, and uh, sell you stuff around the world. And I was lucky enough to be, uh, to get into the collab program. So I've been doing stuff for them. And, um, I, I, I don't really love doing shirts to be honest. That's not my, my forte. I, I, I love doing pop sockets cause it's like, you know, it's, uh, mm-hmm. it's all, yeah, I think that, whole, yeah, I, it's the whole thing. Um, so shirts haven't really been my my friend. Pop sockets do very well for me, so I like doing that. So I'm, I'm eagerly awaiting like pillows, and, uh, phone cases. Awesome. Well, what a cool story. That's great. And I think it's you're not alone with the. Uh, I think a lot of artists are the shirts just doesn't quite. I don't know. Yeah. It's not quite the right thing. So pop sockets. Maybe cell phone cases will be good. Hopefully yeah. that's coming. I hope that happens. It's like the because it cuts off and um, now shirts are kind of a difficult. Yeah. You know, now, do you sell your work on other platforms that are more wall art and? Uh, yeah, um, great. Uh, CB2. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's sort of like the. Um, is it CB2Stores.com? Is that yeah. one? Yeah. yeah, It's part of it's part of Crate and Barrel, mm-hmm. and it, it's their kind of like their younger skewed market. Uh, so I was. Um, I sold wall art and pillowcases and shower curtains for a few years. That was my, and then they sort of, they would take all their stuff and do like a print on demand. They would send it all to China and get all that printed in on canvas and bring it back. So that was before print and demand started, but, but then, you know, now you could do it like anywhere. So it was, that was like the early days of back in the day, like 2010. <laughs> 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 But that was fun you know, to be a part, and then that was the catalogs too. And then so I was in the stores, catalogs was like, whoa! I really got hooked on that. It was like really very exciting. And then uh, boat concepts too. And then I also sold at the MoMA, but in their design store. So I, my specialty was um, the Gilded Age of New York. So kind of like 18, 9, 1880 to nineteen ten, kind of like architecture, and, uh, kind of like the really old neat. buildings. Yeah, the old buildings from that era. I uh, really because I lived in New York. I just loved it. it was the, you know, the whole vibe of the history, and uh, I just gravitated toward that. And it was pretty popular. And then also, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Fab, F A B. 
Yeah, so I was on that for a while. That was very popular when that came out, but unfortunately, they went out of business. And are you from? Are you from New York originally? I was born in New York. I lived in Las Vegas, and then I went moved back to New York, and now I live in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's, I'm I'm in Western New York, so I always find oh. it interesting when I meet other New Yorkers because, of course, the first question is, "You from the city?" Uh, are you yeah. from the city? <laughs> Uh, I'm like, uh, like six hours west. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you leave New York, you go to L. I mean, I love New York. It was very hard to leave. But then once you come to LA, and like, oh my God, it's the border is so beautiful. It's, it's hard yeah. to go back. Oh, I, I, don't know. Li- I don't like the cold. So I, I think you're near Niagara Falls, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like literally right at the Buffalo Niagara Falls airport uh, right here. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a little too cold for me. Yeah. I could be. I could be shoveling my way over there in the morning. We just never it was, know. <laughs> I just went to the beach yesterday. It was like 80 degrees here. Oh, so you get, what you get am used I doing to that. here? Yeah, you get used to that very quickly. <laughs> At least you get to travel different places. Yeah, yeah. So, well, awesome. Well, I saw your website, and guys, I linked his website in the description. So, if you guys want to see some of his artwork and all of that, um, so I saw all the gilded buildings, the whole New York section. So that was that was really neat. So you. Yeah, that- when you were in New York and you were working at these other companies, did you also have your own like art shows and art galleries and stuff like that? Or how did all yeah. that work? Yeah, I had a lot of art shows. Uh, I did a lot of stuff for uh, hotels. Uh, I did some stuff for some celebrities as well. Um, and it was very exciting. You know, it was, it was, but it, back then it was very expensive to print on canvas. Uh, it was really expensive. If I had a printful back then, it would have been great. But you, I had to get like a large screen Epson printer, and you know they're like super expensive for the inks, and so it was hard to. Uh, and then I had a very small apartment, so I didn't have like a whole stash of of canvases ready to go. So as soon as you had it, made them, you had to like sell them because like I gotta get rid of this stuff. <laughs> uh, but that was exciting to be a part of that. Um, and then, uh, and then, like I said, to be a part of uh, CB2 was super exciting because then you like you have like, selling around the world. And that's what's exciting about merch, too. I mean, you know, you could get up in the morning and illustrate something and then slap it in Photoshop and then put it up on merch. And then, like, all of a sudden, it's a product that's everywhere. It's, it's, it's like the dream, you know? It's like, oh, my God, if, if I can make this work, it was like, ah, this doesn't get any better than that. You know? <laughs> yeah. I love that. Like, you're talking about merch as the dream. And it's like, it seems like your whole background before was the dream. <laughs> well, it's, so it it's, makes it makes all of us excited as like, oh, this is the dream. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, I mean, to be a creative and just, as, I mean, you could make stuff as much as you want, but if you don't, if it stays in your apartment and sits there, it's like, ah, eh, you know, someone's going to start yelling at you, get this stuff out of here. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, 3D and working there, I love working at Nickelodeon, obviously, but it's, it's very stressful. Something always went wrong with the computer. Uh, and I'm not going to get into the whole process of how that was. That was a disaster, but. It was very stressful and illustrating, you know, it's low, there's no rendering. So you just illustrate and you're good to go and it's done. So it's uh, not as stressful and then, you know, you, you enjoy it too. So I, I loved, I love the city. I love the vibe of the city. I love the history of the city. Um, so I felt like I was like contributing in my little way, of, you know, to the city of making art for it. And, uh, you know, trying to become an artist, uh, a quote unquote artist. And, uh, and then, you know, I mean, for merch, it's sort of like you, you can be, I mean, it's harder, I guess, uh, but in a sense, you, you're, it's like my own, if, my own little art show, you know, I have a brand, I have my, my, you know, my individual pieces that's kind of unique and trying to, you know, build that as, a, as something. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for whatever they, they bring up next. I, I heard some rumor that might be canvases, I don't know, that would be amazing, or pillows, that would be cool. So, hope, I mean, like I said, T-shirts, I don't think are my thing, but uh, I'm patiently waiting for what comes yeah. next. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it, like an artist with their own showcase on merch. Yeah, it yeah. really is neat. I mean, well, th- think about yeah. the, the wider audience that any artist has now when you're able to go online and have so many eyes on your work and appeal yeah. to actually such a huge market compared to, you know, like I met a guy, um, I think he was in Florida, like 10, 15, 20 years ago, right about as I was really getting into like uh, e-com and stuff. And he was an artist. Now I'm thinking back to our conversation now. And like, if that stuff had been available to him when he described to me his hustle and like what he had to do to sell his art, 
man, where where would he be now yeah. with you know what's available? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Definitely. Yeah, Ron was all... asking a question for Eric. Um, how you how did you develop your style? He said it's incredibly unique. Uh, oh, thanks so much. Um, I was when I was working at Nickel at this this MTV. Uh, I just knew how to use the computer. I wasn't really versed in graphic design, even know what it was. I was like, what is this? All the time. But it was fascinating. And everyone there was super precise and super skilled and really talented. And I was like, oh, I want to be like this. And I'm like trying to learn as I'm going because my because they only had the computer back day, there then. And that was my skill set. I knew how to use computers. So I was trying to learn from everyone. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? But, you know, I had tried as much as I tried. I, was, I couldn't even get I could I wasn't that precise. So I had to like I had to use what I had. And it was kind of like organic, sloppy in a way. <laughs> so I was trying to develop that skill. You know, I, I can't be precise. So I'm going to utilize what I have. And uh, my, my big idol is uh, Winston McKay. He's an uh, illustrator from the turn of the century. And he's got a very detailed style. And I just loved his art. And so I kind of like try to emulate what he was doing. And uh, I just winged it, you know, I just, I, it just whatever worked, worked. And I just, I literally would draw every single day for seven years after work and something popped out. So <laughs> I don't know if that's a good uh, explanation, but I was just, whatever worked, it just seemed to, it just flowed. So you I just, just owned it. it. Yeah, owned exactly. Like, this, <laughs> See, this seems that's good. how I do it too. Fake it till you make it. I love that. And you drew every day after work. Is that what you just said? For seven yeah. years? Yeah, at the coffee shop. What prompted day. you to do that? Or what was the inspiration? It was just, um, I wanted to, when I came to New York, I just loved it. it. The vibe was so exciting. The energy was so there. And I just, you know, I just, I wanted to contribute somehow. Like, what can I do? What can I do to contribute and make a mark? And I said, I don't know. I was trying to do animations. But, uh, you know, like I said, computer technology back then was very slow. And it, there was always a problem. And illustration was just perfect because you get a little sketchbook in your little your little sharpie you go in a small corner of a coffee shop and you just start drawing you get the new york post and you find some strange story and then you draw these people and you know that was my you know my happy place and uh i was trying to like do something different like I, my andy warhol was like my hero it's like oh he did it I'm trying to follow his 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 footsteps just to somehow contribute somehow and, uh, you know, it, it did work for a little bit, so that was exciting. Now, do you still do stuff like that, getting the Times or the newspaper and, and going back to the beginning? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, now that I'm in Los Angeles, it's a different thing. Um, it's a different environment. Uh, I was kind of naive about L.A. I didn't really know much about it. But there was a lot of history here for, like, you know, obviously the early Hollywood days and celebrity days. And it's very beautiful as far as, like, nature i mean it's stunningly gorgeous for because i do a lot of flowers so i'll just wander around and like look at these beautiful flowers and take pictures of them for references and then i'll just illustrate those so it's it's sort of different i don't really reference papers anymore um but so you know you kind of do you try to do different things i did i did something with this uh, westwood village which is near ucla so i did their beautification project uh, and then there was like a very historic theater district so i kind of like did that I've done a lot of shows here for, for some celebrities as well, which is cool. I did a project for um, uh, Dave Stewart from The Arrhythmics, which was super exciting. It's like, uh, like, hello, how are you, Eric? It's like, oh, hello, Mr. Stewart. Like, ah, this is Dave Stewart. Like, I'm like hanging out with him. It's like, that is awesome. Yeah, so that was fun. So it's, you know, you just kind of like, you make it, like you say, you, you, make, you fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's, That's my funny. motto. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that is the motto, right? <laughs> hey, it works. like you just realize, like, the whole world is like that. Like, nobody knows what they're doing. Much, Everybody's yeah. just, like, doing their best. We're Pretty all much. just winging it. We're yeah. all winging it's like it. Like, those memes, eyeliner, this, that, everything. We're yep. just winging it. But it works yeah. out. I mean, you've had an amazing uh, adventure doing all this different stuff. And I love how you keep saying you are looking for ways to contribute. Like, what do you think, um, like... Was there anything that you really wanted to contribute to the world or like what prompted that, that you are always um, looking to contribute? Yeah. I like doing positive stuff. I like my, I like 
you know, with the flowers, I try to do positive art. Um, I like doing things that embrace historical uh, references, but kind of like with a modern twist on it. I like uh, positive, I, I like doing lettering. I like doing positive quotes. I love quotes, positive quotes. I think quotes are very important. And, uh, you know, for merch, I was excited initially because, oh, well, I could give my, I could do my positive skew on the world where everyone's angry and negative and I'm going to turn it around and I'll be the positive guy and like <laughs> save humanity or something like that. But that didn't work out too well. But um, uh, I love doing lettering and I like doing positive quotes. It was, um, you know, like, um, just, I think there's, there's so much, it's frustrating that I'm not at the point where I am in merch because I just want to do my thing. And I don't know. I mean, like. Uh, oh, no. We lost him for a second. Oops. Oh, uh, there you are. You're back. People give uh, different uh, skills. Oh, Wi Fi must be not good. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just try to do unique. I love that. You're like the positive artist. It's awesome. Trying to be. <laughs> That's great. And um and I think don't worry about being frustrated with merch. Like it's like it's it's a struggle for everybody. Like and people go in like uh ebbs and flows. Like sometimes you hit something and it just like takes off and then sometimes you go through a period where it's not working as well. So it's like you'll right. you'll figure it out. <laughs> I hope so. I it's it's very exciting. I mean it's, it's a gift, to be honest. I mean, we're given this amazing platform with amazing opportunities. And it's just, it's a, it's a, it, I love, I mean, you know, when you hear, even if you sell one thing a day, it's like, it's like a drug, like, ding, like, oh, <laughs> I, I sold something somewhere in the world. It's like, ah, it's, it's really, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the perfect storm if you could get it to work. It's like a little shot of energy. Like, <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, go back to work. Yeah. Especially when it's your own art and it's your own brand and it's like you're building this. It's so exciting. That's what I was going to say, too, because I know like when I put my time into a design and it sells, it's like that much sweeter than the other things that I've sold. It's all so, you. You know, it's, it's just yeah, all you. It's your heart. You know, mm. there's a part of you in that. It's very intimate, but very exciting because I, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but there's something very special about your signature being on somebody's in somebody's closet even you know someone someone <laughs> in the world someone in the world is wearing something that you made and it's gonna live like what's when you make when i was making the pieces for cb2 you know uh a piece of art is very intimate you know it's like mm -hmm. you know when you live when you're with your parents you know you'd see the art on the wall and that piece of art was there for years you know it was like yeah. that chip or that flower it was a part of the family mm-hmm you know, if it left, it's like, well, what happened to the what happened to the flower painting? You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's kind of funny be because I was I was just talking to my dad about my grandmother. I lost her when I was six years old and we were taught we were just talking about fond memories. And I was a kid and uh, I remember in her kitchen, she had a, she had this painting and it's always just stuck in my brain, this painting. And it's Aww. funny that you bring that up because, yeah, it's so, there's, there yeah, is I mean, something very. Yeah. Something that you made is going to be there for years, and it's just uh, you know, it's it's, I, it's a very it's it's an honor to be to sell stuff for people. It's it's really cool. It is, and I think it's important to have that like mentality about it, and to see it as this gift and the honor of somebody actually choosing your design out of the millions of designs. That's the one that they bought, and it's just exactly. I don't know. It's very humbling. And even like not as an artist, but as one who creates and produces, like I think of well, myself yeah, as a the producer. same thing with like the research. I mean, you put yeah. your time in that and then talking with those that do create. Absolutely. Mm. I'm definitely not going to downplay what y'all do because it's the same thing. You're putting your fingerprint on that. You're doing mm -hmm. the labor in a different way, but still you, somebody likes what you came up with and it's, it's amazing. It really is. And you get like the satisfaction of that product would not exist in the world yeah. if it wasn't for me. <laughs> I'm like, Absolutely. I'm, I'm the brains. <laughs> and it's so nice to be able to just have like your creativity out there and people can pick, they don't have to just have like everybody look the same and wear the same exact outfits. Like everybody can be unique and have exactly the phrase they want or exactly what they're looking for. 
in exactly the style because yeah. everybody is so different and that's what I love about merch because you know there's really I know we talk about this all the time there's so many different ways to do it and it all uh-huh. works there's no like wrong answer and it's all satisfying yeah so, it's so it fun works. because it's it's like creative for the person making the shirts and then it's also creative for the person wearing the shirt. So they get to have their unique thing and we get to have our own way of doing merch and our own unique uniqueness also. So it's, it's really nice. So uh, you still can't talk about merch collab, right? Is that right? Um, I could talk a little bit about it. I asked them uh, a few weeks ago. I could talk a little bit about it, but not... Well, I'll just say, like, because I, I am not part of it. So Merch Collab is basically um, where it's uh, you have a connection to licensed products. Like, it's kind of like Merch is in between. They allow you to do licensed work. Is that like right? Brands. Like, if, Yeah, brand. Yeah. yeah. So that I was – when that program first came out, I was so excited, and I applied, and I never – I don't even think they ever emailed me back or anything. <laughs> I don't know. I never had like a step, step two or anything, but I was all excited about it. And I tried to get into art and then I just, it, it, it wasn't for me, but, um, but tell us about that. It's, it was so exciting when that came out, like whatever you're allowed to say. Um, yeah, they have a lot of exciting brands. Um, I could talk about the Rick and Morty cause that is live. And I was, I didn't even know that show when it came out, but, um, it was um, fascinating. It was a really funny show. And um, I, I love, like you mentioned, I love doing research on things that I don't know anybody. You throw yourself in and you learn all about it. And then you get, you just like get, get versed about it. And you can uh, tear it apart and do your own spew on it. But uh, I mean, to work on that brand is so thrilling to me. It's just like amazing. And then uh, Shane Dawson, that's that's five. I, I I was lucky enough to be on. I have two products with that, and uh, some of those sold pretty well. And uh, they have a lot of brands uh, that they that they have. It's pretty exciting. Um, I'm very lucky to be part of that program. It's it's, a thr- it's really thrilling uh, to be part of it, um, and to do your own skew on it uh, is fantastic. I mean, that's another perfect. I mean, I don't know any other company that is offer so many opportunities like Amazon. I was, it's, it's incredible. You know, I mean, it's, it's just amazing what you can do with that company. It's, it's incredible. Now, do you focus more on collab than um, just merch in general, or is it about even for you? Um, I, it's, it's a process to, 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 uh, to go through through collab. And uh, so you have, it has to be approved. You can't just throw anything up there. It has to go through uh, uh, an approval process. Uh, so that's uh, that takes a while. And um, uh, I kind of like, uh, it took a while to take off. Uh, I think I call that for maybe about a year. Uh, and it's, it's recently it's been, been doing a lot better. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but, um, and now they off they, they added a whole bunch of new uh, brands, really exciting brands. I don't know if I could talk about them, but uh, really exciting. Yeah, I don't think we, I don't think we can talk about the brands, but um, but yeah, I it it is very exciting. Um, I think I, that if you are in collab, maybe it'd be smart to dive in more on it. I, I mean, I don't know how much we're allowed to talk either, but it is a it is a crazy good opportunity especially for artists because i think I would, they do want more originality than yeah um i think uh yeah i don't know what the big the big plan with amazon is, but it's pretty exciting to uh to be a part of it um what else was i going to say about that um and, and then if you're not accepted i just think you should still apply since yeah. you're probably getting bombarded with lots of um uh, request um, and uh, I've seen different styles, so it runs the gamut. Uh, they just offered, they just added some new brands that I'm super excited about. Uh, I was really thrilled about that. So uh, that just happened. So if if you're really interested in doing it, I would totally apply and uh, just just keep applying until until you get some response. Now, are you regularly regularly putting things into collab, even with the approval process that's a little bit more involved? Um, I took a break for a while because it there was because uh, uh, for a while I did I felt it wasn't working for me, and, but recently it's it's done a lot better. So I kind of threw myself into it now again, 
Uh, it's been, yeah, the approval process is sort of challenging, but uh, I do have uh, a lot of, st- I, I do a lot of stuff for it. Um, and then I, uh, then I'm trying to, I'm trying, you know, I do a balance of both. So I'm trying to do my own stuff and it's cool to do both. You know, they're both totally different. Now, I have a question about your style. We, we brought that up a little bit earlier. You do have a very unique style, and, and I think it's kind of cool what you Thank do. You. And I know that you've showed, like, your, the way that you do it with the Sharpie and then bringing it in. And, and I don't know if you vectorize it or, or what you do with, with that part, because that's over my head. <laughs> but it's really cool how you invite people in on that. When, when you do merch, are you constantly just focused on that particular style and really just trying to build on that? Or do you, do you explore with other methods as well? Yeah, um, I was trying to see, because the, the, that particular style, maybe it's too... I was trying to... Because I had a lot of stuff that I put up there, and they weren't selling as well as I thought they would. It was like, well, why? This is great stuff. Why is it selling? <laughs> and then I was thinking, well, maybe it's too complex. Maybe it's too detailed. You know, so it's like maybe it's too because it's got a lot of stuff in there. So I don't know, maybe it's just too detailed. So I was trying to like do the opposite. And then to uh-huh. be honest, um, my best selling pop socket is not it's completely different. Uh, it's not as it's not as detailed. So now I've been trying to do uh, less detailed. But I mean I love I kinda like do it anyway. It's like oh, I'm doing it anyway, I don't care what they say. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So, but uh, I'm trying to like uh, change my style up. Um, but uh, in, re- in regards to what you're talking about, uh, showing people, I really love doing that. Um, I love uh, like over the shoulder stuff because I'm doing it anyway. So I might as well, hey, watch what I'm doing. Uh, so I've done some uh, classes. If you're interested, uh, like the free classes on Skillshare on YouTube. How you I do- saw you. Oh, okay. I haven't taken your course yet, but I was actually on Skillshare last night browsing different things and I saw your name come up and I was like, how cool. Awesome. Yeah, you, should, you gotta send yes. me those links. Yeah, you send me any some. links you have and I'll add it to the description. Yeah, the best app you can get is called Adobe Capture. So I don't know if you guys know that one. You could, yeah, I've used yeah, that. I need to play with that more. Oh it's my good. god, that is the world's greatest app. I love it. Because that <laughs> vectorizes your art. You could just you could draw something, it vectorizes it automatically, and it brings it into Illustrator, so it's super high res. And then you could bring that into Photoshop, and then you could scale that up for anything. It's it's. And, and it's just real quick about that, is it easy to to make it like a, a transparent background? Because I've never gotten oh, yeah. that far. It comes in when you when you vectorize it. It's all it's just the line. So there's no. Background. Okay. Okay. But good you can to know. do. But I showed you a, a there's like a, a in that in that course I show you how to do that. So if you're interested in that. Um, it's, yeah, it's I'm gonna have to take to your do. course now. Yeah, I saw that literally last night. Too funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like to. I like. Because I used to teach uh, After Effects, I used to teach Illustrator, um, so it's kind of fun to do, especially when I'm doing my own stuff. Because, like I said, I'm doing it anyway, and it's uh, I like inter- interacting with uh, students. It's, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. There's not a lot of people that invite others into that, so so that's really cool that you do. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I thought because you know these days as an uh, entrepreneur. Uh, you know, we're all by ourselves. We're living in, we're in our little desk and there's no interaction. And like, if you don't, you know, you, you kind of tend to go cuckoo bananas if you're like, ah, you know, I got to get out of here, <laughs> you know? So, you know, when you play these videos in the background, at least you hear someone's voice like, oh, talk to me, you know? Because, uh, yeah, I, I've gone a little crazy a few times. So even if people aren't even listening, like, oh, at least I can pretend that someone's listening. Like, hey, I'm doing this stuff. And, <laughs> and then someone's chatting, so yeah, it's save my <laughs> go a little set insane. No, we've talked about that too. Like what we do, it can be pretty lonely. I know that's one reason why I absolutely love Monday nights and Tuesday nights because I have people to talk to that aren't like three feet tall, and it's really right. nice. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like they said, um, reseller spotlight. Yes, adult conversations are golden. They really are because it can yeah. be pretty lonely. Yeah, just to get some, you know, especially what we're doing now. It's like, oh, does this work? And just to ask why. I mean, I got to say, people in the merch world are just so helpful and so wonderful to talk to. It's, it's you know, you know, especially RJ and uh, Matt and Neil, and of course Mr. Chris Green and Ken. I mean, like, just to ask them questions. Like, you know, I'm sure they get barraded with like. Can, can you do this? Can you do that? Like, shut up. I don't answer 
But you know, I mean, just to answer this question, it's it's fascinating, and uh, it's it's fun. You know, everyone wants everyone to succeed, and that's very nice. Yeah, there is something very special about the merch community. That's awesome. Thank you so much for uh, being here and sharing uh, all your everything that you that you're doing and telling us about merch collab because that's that's the whole like little mystery where we're like, what is that program? <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to hear about that the people are in it at least. Like even though we can't know too much, it's like it's it's cool. I love how Amazon's always coming up with new stuff. Like it's just it's so exciting. Like who knows what's gonna happen in the future. Right? It's like okay, there's this big thing and then there's another big thing and then there's yeah. another thing. And it's only three years old. Like this is still very young. And yes. I mean, it's so exciting. And just the fact that they don't think there's going to be a freeze or anything, like, at least that's what they've said. Like, it's, I feel like it's Amazon starting to, uh, I don't know, grow in this. Like, they're prepared now. It's, it's like their third Q4, so they're prepared. And it's like, um, yeah, I'm excited. Like, I hope, I hope that it's like legit. There's not going to be any throttling because I know that really hurt a lot of people. Oh my there. God. That was but just oh like, goodness, it, could you imagine a Q4 with no throttling? Yeah, oh. it just, it hurt me for, like, months after that. But now it's, like, I feel like I'm finally back to, like, functioning. <laughs> to to, like, right before Q4, everything's back to normal. Yeah, everything's finally back to normal. And I'm, like, oh, my God, if we can really go through Q4 with no freeze, this is going to be amazing. Like, And, and now I have 6,000 shirts instead of, I don't know what I had last time. But and we got all last kill it. <laughs> I hope we all just do above and beyond what we ever even thought. I hope. Yeah. I think pop sockets is a game changer, honestly. I do too. Pop sockets are crazy. I need, I need to invest once, more time once you on go, them. Once you go pop, you can't go back. You know, it's like yeah. I, I, <laughs> this I, is I, true. I don't even want to upload shirts anymore. <laughs> I, 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 but just the physical thing, I like. Why my? Because sometimes the, the sticker comes off. Like, uh, where's I need a backup pop socket? It's like I can't. <laughs> <Yeah. remember it. laughs> They're gonna be like collectibles, like pogs. Oh my thing. god, yeah, that's so that's... true. But can you? Can so you like take twenty them years from now, all these pop sockets are going yeah, to on take eBay for like thirty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can remove them. I don't know what kind of stuff is left behind, but. <laughs> no, that'd be cool. They don't sell uh, the individual pop. Just, I mean, I don't know if that's like, like just the very like... surface part. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. But there is a company that sells like a sticker. That you could oh, put really? over that, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely seen a lot of copycats. Uh, yeah. Kind of, that's that's mm -hmm. good, I guess. You know, competition. Well, do you have any um, big plans you're doing for Q4? Like, have you changed your strategy at all? Like, getting ready for Q4, or, or is you kind of just keep doing the same thing? Um, I've been, uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, Santa stuff. I'm trying to like, you know, with now that they have like uh, this. Uh, new res relaxed restrictions. I've been trying to do <laughs> cannabis and Santa. So like stunner claws. And that. <laughs> that is and, great. Uh, yeah, so I tried that. And it's like, there's got to be someone. Uh, because, you know, it's going to be inundated with your traditional. Oh, what I have been doing, I've been trying to do like um, pop socket holiday cards. So kind of like uh, holiday scenes on a pop socket, you know, like Christmas trees and mountains and something, something... Instead of your traditional card, it would be a pop socket with a uh, 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 holiday Mary's theme. So I'm trying to do that. That's sort of working pretty well. And, uh, you know, I, I try to do something that's unique and different. I was doing, I was, I fell into the whole dabbing turkey, dabbing Santa. That didn't really work out too well. Yeah, my dabbing plastic. turkeys, my dabbing everything. Nobody likes my dabbers. It's like, yeah, I know. Yeah. But then like I make dabber. a flossing unicorn, and that thing sold like three times. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the thing, man. I mean, like, I don't. I mean, I would say in a year of doing it, I have, I have still have no idea how it works. Just like you put the keywords in, and you do this, like, this is wonderful. Why doesn't it sell? I don't know. But sometimes, and then something sells. Like, why did this sell? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, it's like it's crazy. Yeah, I figured. Like, I just get out of the way. I'm at the point now with merch because cause I make a lot of my own designs too. And it's just like, hey, you know, I'm having fun with it. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put what I think might get it in front of the right eyes and then just set it and forget it. And if it sells, it's like, oh my God. And if it doesn't, it's like, 
well, whatever. I'm going to make something else then. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to, like I said, you know, put stuff up there. You got to have fun with it. You have yeah, it's to. like, it's like a, uh, you know, it's like a message in a bottle. You know, you put your message in a bottle and you throw it in the <laughs> ocean and like, I, I'll never see that again. But, oh, it came back. Like, oh, wow. I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that analogy. That's great. <laughs> So I'll just keep throwing those bottles in the ocean. <laughs> Eventually, something will come back. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. I gotta love get the that. tide just right. Yeah. You guys are so positive. I love it. That's probably why <laughs> why you guys are on the show. It's so it's so nice to be around positive people. Now, how important I'm... is that? Because I mean, earlier you did talk about being the positive guy. Like, how important is that? Do you think to the success that you've had and the the success that you desire to have. Uh, yeah, well, you got to be your own best uh, rally chief because uh, you know it's not always uh, you know, uh, with shits and giggles. It's a lot of uh, it's 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 a lot of work for to get to the CP2 stuff. That took three years to get into mm-hmm. that catalog because I had to keep constantly sending stuff and throwing stuff. To, it took three years to do that. Uh, but it was great when it happened, obviously, and it was, and I was in it for five years. Uh, but, uh, but like I said, I mean, I just, I just love it so much. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, I love, I love illustrating. I love creating stuff. It's definitely what I love to do. And I just, I, it's so exciting to have this opportunity. It's so exciting that you could do it, you know, like it's an opportunity like this has never been allowed for any artist, you know, I mean, it's just so thrilling that you could do it and if you could do it well it could be fantastic so that kind of like drives me and uh, yeah i have a lot of bum days where like, ah screw it i'm not gonna do it anymore and that's a bummer but then you just pick yourself up and try to you know re- reset and start again and try a different skew but uh, yeah it's it's a lonely thing but uh it's exciting too awesome well you're doing great things so thank you for putting all your artwork out there it's wonderful Thank you, Seth. Listen, thank you for having me. <laughs> and I would just want to shout out um, Michelle Martin. Thank you for watching. I'm so happy she caught a live. She lives in Australia, and um, normally the timing doesn't quite work out, but she watches all the shows and always comments and says something nice. So thank you so much, Michelle. So, and speaking of commenting, guys, comment. <laughs> but, hey, we love times we laugh. Okay, we laugh. We Sometimes. love the comments. Well, there was Sorry. only one. I feel like we've only I had one had negative comment the entire time we've had this show. Um, <laughs> we I, had a negative comment like a week or two ago, and they didn't like that we laughed too much. I was uh, dying. I was like, okay, that is a really good that first That is something that comment. we would laugh at. No laughing. No <laughs> laughing. Like, we'll laugh at she was just like, it was too much giggling, and I was just like, oh, my God, it's hilarious. I'm like, sorry, we're the wrong channel for you. <laughs> But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching every week. And, you know, we we just love this. Thank you so much. And thank you for everybody who comes on the show and shares all their knowledge. Like, I'm so happy you came on, Eric. It's so, it's so, so great to have you. Thank you for Yeah, it really is an honor. It really, really is. Yeah. Well, I, thank you for having me. I, I, I enjoy your show very much. I learned a lot. So it's, uh, once again, it's, it's wonderful that, uh, you know, everyone is sharing and, People just want everyone to succeed. It's a rare, a rare thing. So uh, it's nice. What is it that Jacob Topping says? Together we all win. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's, tr- it's true. It is. I mean, people freak out that uh, oh, it's, it's too competitive. It's too the market is crazy. But you know, Amazon has like two billion people a month. I mean, there's enough for a lot of people. I mean, if you're good enough, you can make it. I mean, it's it's all it's all in your hands. It's it's up to you. So. Yeah, you figure it out. You 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 yeah. tweak where you need to tweak. You constantly you, you keep learning. You, and I think that I truly believe if you have a desire to do well on this platform and you're willing to put in the grit and the hard work and everything, you'll get there. There's enough yeah, success for us all. Absolutely. And then one, yeah, and then once you get there, you can pat yourself on the back and say, "Oh wow, I did it. It's all me. This is all me, and I did it. So good, good for me." Mario, <laughs> kill him with kindness and laughter. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Mario. He's one of our true fans, and he's uh, awesome. Met, met him in New, uh, New Jersey, so not too far from uh, New York. Actually, we yeah, I think we were in New Jersey. Um, 
speaking of New York, so when did you move to LA? How long have you been in LA? Uh, 2013. 2013? Oh, so not that long. Yeah, it's, I'm still uh, fresh behind that years. I was in New York for 22 years. 22 years. Wow. It was crazy. But uh, it, was, it, was, it was a wonderful time. Definitely uh, loved being there. It was, it was very exciting. But I like, LA's got a, 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 a really interesting vibe, and a lot of energy. So it's a nice time to be here, too. And like I said, I was floored by the, uh, the beauty of Los Angeles and California in general. It's just stunningly gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, Joe just joined the chat. Hi, Joe. <laughs> so. Well, do you have anything else that you wanted to say? I don't know if we asked. Is there anything that we didn't ask you? Any tips that you have for the audience? Any tips you have for the artists in the audience? I uh, would do you definitely try to use that. Adobe Capture program. It's one of the greatest apps ever. Uh, and actually, you know, the new stuff, uh, if people use Adobe, uh, they just released a whole bunch of stuff at the Max thing. So the new Adobe After Illustrator is great. Um, and then actually, they announced, I don't know what's going to happen, but they announced, uh, if people are interested in development, uh, they announced some type of collaboration with Amazon uh, with their XD program, which is UI UX for web development. And they're going to somehow core, com, um, collaborate with uh, Alexia. So you can make apps in that and use their Amazon programs. So that's kind of cool. So there's a lot of opportunities there. Uh, and there's just, you know, new opportunities all over the place. Just to be creative and pushing something unique, I think, is the way to go. Awesome. Well, anything else, Amy or Amy? I think we lost Bree. She's... Yeah, I was, you know, I can't believe she even came on. She today. got her food and was like, "I'm eating this." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she. Oh my god, the amount she does in a day. She was like, "Oh, she, I, I would have been See, like, guys, I'm packing today." <laughs> like, like most of us have 24 hours. She's got 27. I don't know how she does it, but I was gonna say more than that. Like, I would need like 57 to do what she does in a day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she sleeps. I, think, I, I don't think she's, she's human, but she's. Oh, did you see her post one time when it was like one of those things where you have to like click to show that you're a human, like <laughs> instead of a robot? So it said no. like I'm not a robot or something. You have to click something, and she posted the screenshot. She's like, they want me to lie to log into Gumroad or whatever the thing was. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I have to click that I'm not a robot. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. And she's uh, has an opportunity to go to Amazon. Wow. Oh, it's amazing. It's yeah, amazing. Fantastic. Go to the so. mothership. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you guys all so much for being here. And I think uh, I think we'll call it a night. I got to get some sleep. I did not feel very good. <laughs> yeah, you need to get better, girl. ACV. <laughs> Hopefully by next show. Yeah, I need to, uh, yeah, take it easy this week and get better. <laughs> good meeting you, Eric. It was nice meeting you as well. Thank you yeah, for your video. Thank you They're so fantastic. much, Eric. I'm so glad that you came thank on you. today. Thank you for having me. All right. Bye, guys. See you guys next week. Good, Good night. Bye. Good night.